Okay, that's 30 seconds then on the studio floor. Five, four, three, two, one. Keychers enter, or camera two. I would like to be directing television drama. That's what I'd really like to do. Joel, can you do a close-up on Judy, please? You get to use the studio like this. You've got your vision mixing desk. You have everything that you would have in a normal industry standard studio. And we work to a schedule, to a time limit when we do our assessments. We have to budget it like you would do in an industry standard production. It prepares you for, for everything you're going to encounter uh, when you break into the industry. Three, can you uh, pan over to Sean? My ultimate dream is to become a presenter. And all you have to do is pop your... This um, course offers you the chance to get all those like individual skills. Like You need to be good on camera, you need to be good on sound, you need to be good on lighting, you need to be good on set, and all the different aspects. That's what made me choose this course over other courses. You're kind of going out with this really good package at the end, like really sellable. So I really want to win £250,000 on Deal or No Deal. <laughs> <laughs> Just for you. This is Madonna with Lucky Star. I'm just getting a bit harder, but to be honest, I'm so glad that I picked this course. It's just amazing. Adela, do you want to tell us about your theme? So I'm going to basically do my documentary, hopefully, um, with prostitutes on the beat. I want to create things that are edgy that people can relate to and think, yeah, actually, that's happened with my situation in real life. And I want this idea of the story sitting in the back of your mind. And the questions you might want to be asking is, what is the story? What's the core story that you're looking for? Have you all got a universal theme, do you think? It's really important for us that we give students um, a, a really professional experience. It's great to see that a lot of the students' projects are actually um, you know, for clients, real-world clients, and that their audio might end up as a podcast for a company or as an audio slideshow on a website. Yeah, keep your hands on your hips, elbows forward. And um, put, roll your shoulders forward as well that way a little bit. Photography has been a kind of serious hobby for a long time. I've been in teaching for a while and then last year I decided that I would uh, make the move. I'm so glad to do it. It was the best decision I ever made. It's absolutely the right thing to do. I'm having a great time. I'm learning lots. And what you can see with this one here is one lighting setup, two very different looks. You will learn all the necessary skills from camera skills through to lighting skills through to post-processing skills as well as all the conceptual skills that are important. But not only that, we also think about professional working practices. That the front light is not always the key light, the actual backlight could become the key light, depending on where you turn your subject. All our staff are professionals, they've all worked in the industry. All of this industry knowledge and experience is brought into the school itself and then out towards the students. Our correspondent Gareth Owen joins us in the studio now. And Gareth, what is the situation? Well, I was here, I won a bursary to ITV Regional News where I went immediately afterwards and I've stayed there ever since. How are you going to start it? What's your opening secret? secret? One of the reflection of the recession uh, we can see here in this road because they have this shopping and everything is empty. It's, it's a serious story, but I'd be tempted almost to have a look, for our point of view, from Central's point of view, to have a little bit of fun with it almost. Thinking back eight, nine years when I was here and then, and then seeing what it was like here today, very, very similar. It's great. They want to save the energy and uh, as well as uh, they want to help the environment as well. But they have been refused. When I came here, uh, I had uh, one year uh, TV experience, but what I have learned in, in two months I mean, it's, uh, I've, I've never expected this. It's people that are genuinely enthusiastic and have a passion for doing this sort of thing. And what's your top line? How is uh, fitness the new buzzword amongst the youth? That's the top line. I can't recommend this course highly enough. It does everything that you need in a very short space of time and sets you up nicely for, for future career. Hello and welcome to Inside Out. This week we're in the Jewellery Quarter. My career started as a result of the degree course that I did here at Birmingham, which is now Birmingham City University. So who was Philip Donnellan? It enabled me to get my foot in the door at the BBC because it had such a strong practical bias and I'm absolutely convinced that as a result of that course, that has meant that I'm here where I am today. 